Happy Earth Day, Tommies. I'm Katie McGinnis, and I'm the 2023 Tommy Award winner and an environmental science major at St. Thomas. Come along to see some of the sustainability initiatives at St. Thomas. Welcome to the ASC. Here's an example of some waste sorting educational material that was built by a Green Corps member. These boxes help you decide where you should sort your waste in organics, recycling, and compost. 90% of what we throw away could be put in the recycling or organics instead. Now let's take a detour to Tease. This is our Aussie to go program. You can purchase a coin at the cash register at Tease, then ask for your meal in an Aussie container. Once you're done eating your meal, you throw it in the drop bin and then they'll give you another coin so you can repeat that cycle again. Follow me to the North Cider Dining Hall in Tommy North as I learn more about dining services sustainability initiatives. How have dining services operations supported the sustainability action plan? All our stuff that's not in the dining halls is compostable. From the cups to the, um, the, the plates, all everything we send out is, is, is compostable. The other thing we do too is we partnered with, um, it's food recovery. And so anything that we have that's not been on the line, so the um, pans are sitting in the back and the coolers and the, or the warmers and that kind of stuff, we can freeze that solid. And then he comes and picks it all up and he gives it to like Catholic Charities, the Dorothy Day Center, places like that so that food doesn't go to unused. Now I'm headed to South Campus to see the pollinator path and talk to the environmental science program director. What is the pollinator path? Yeah, the, the pollinator path was started by um, my colleagues Catherine Grant and Doreen Schroeder and there's a series of, of flower beds all the way across campus that's just habitat for, for different pollinators. We've had you know intro biology labs that have done bee surveys. We have research students in the summers that do bee surveys. Lots of different native bee species, especially on South Campus. Uh, and in fact, we have a, a federally listed endangered species, a rusty patch bumblebee, that's been found out there. And actually, just last night, there's a, an email from a U.S. Geological Survey research scientist who's going to be coming on campus to do some studies on the rusty patch bumblebee. So we actually have endangered species living on our campus. There are several ways to get involved with research on campus. Just reach out to a professor to hear more about sustainability research opportunities. Now we're here at Fry Hall, which is a platinum LEED certified building. In addition to LEED certification, we have moved all residence hall waste recovery to three streams of trash, recycling, and compost. The most important area where this hall is green is the mechanical and water systems. It's very good with energy efficiency, balancing of heating and cooling, low emitting products, and water usage. St. Thomas has several sustainable transportation options, including electric vehicle parking stations, discounts on bike passes, and several ways that you can park your bikes indoors, such as this one here in Fry Hall. There are so many ways to get involved with sustainability on campus, such as working for the Office of Sustainability Initiatives, advocating in Student Government Sustainability Coalition, or having casual interactions in the Sustainability Club. Thanks for following along on this St. Thomas Sustainability Tour.